What is going on, fellow Joan Motors? This is Average Flyer, and uh, today we're going to change the capacitor of the MGX X600, which is a, a 16 volt, uh, 220 microfarad capacitor, to a uh, 16 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor. So, uh, basically like five times more the capacity and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because a capacitor stores charge that comes from the battery and so you know you get a better lift when you first start out and then over time it starts charging and discharging charging and discharging so I've already done this mod on my first MGX, you see capacitors right there, and I feel like it it goes a little bit faster than this one. So I'm gonna do the same mod to this one. All right. So to start out with, you're gonna take out the screws. There's a, a screw on each propeller holder, which I have covered in tape for. This one I'm just going to do for you real quick. Also, have a magnet to magnetize your screwdriver. Because it's really helpful when your screw just doesn't fall down on the ground. And then you have to go look for it. They just stick to your, your screwdriver. Alright, so let's unscrew this prop. So I'll show you. And then hold it right here and then push down. See? Comes right off. Pretty easy. Alright, and then after that, after doing all the rest of them, there's a screw here, 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 and here. Yeah. It's a lot of screws, but you'll you'll get it. All right, so for speaking purposes, I've already done that on this one, and then we got four more screws right here, here, and here, and here. See the capacitors right there. I've done a little mod there. All right, so I'm just gonna unscrew those real quick. By the way, if uh, your MGX has uh, some tapes around there and there and there, you can take those off. It's fairly simple to put it back and I'll show you. Alright, so I took off all those screws. So, it just comes off like that. If your JST plug is uh, thrown into there, you could easily take it out. You know, go in there, fit it into that square, comes out. Alright. So, yeah, the lights. You could just unplug those. See so top three are lights. One, two, three. Top three. And then right here, top three are lights. Including that one, which is the lights for the eyes. And then these three and these three are for the motors, which you'll probably already have taken off. Alright, so we got that out. Bring these off. Alright, so. Alright, so this one's a little bit different than the version 2, I guess. 
All right, so the top two uh, pins are for the capacitor. So all we're gonna do is unsolder them first. First, we'll lift the capacitor up a bit. All right, then grab onto the capacitor. We'll be able to pull. First two pins. See, pretty easy to get it out. All right, now got to pay attention to capacitors. This side that has the white part is the negative side, which is this side. You don't know which is the negative side on your board. <sighs> Just look back up here, and you see the black one's a negative, and the red one's a positive. So the negative, which would, which would be the white, where you put your capacitor, this side, is the black one, which will be the left side when it's facing you, and it's on the top. So right here, that's the negative. Alright, so I'm going to cut down the capacitor so it could fit, so that we don't have a long as a pole sticking out. Yeah, my stand for my soldering iron, uh, it broke. Alright, so I'm going to tin the tips. Alright, now I'm going to apply some heat. Now remember the left side is the one where the white part of the capacitor goes kind of a little bit too wide to fit. See, I think that's good enough. So, I'm gonna apply some heat. I hope you guys can see this. The soldering iron doesn't really reach. It's kind of pretty hard to do this with the pet cam on. This is right there. As you guys can see. Got the negative part in. Now we get the positive part in. And I'm not wide enough for the positive part. Widen a bit. Alright, 
I think I got it in. I'm just going to push them both further in. Drop something there. Alright, so hopefully you can see. Get the negative side where the black is, see, and the positive side where the red is. See. If uh, you want for simplification, uh, these two pinouts are the same, and those two pinouts on the top are the same. So the negative on the capacitor is the same as the negative on the on the GST and the positive side of the capacitor is the same as the red which is the positive on the on the GST so if you want an easier way just uh, get the capacitor damn it, where did it just get your, your new capacitor and make sure you got the negative side you put it right there and right there and just hold it but make sure it's long enough so that way it'll come out 